In today's video, we're going to show you how you can delete a user account in Windows. Now, before we begin, we do not want to promote this for malicious activity. This is more of a case of you had a user account, you don't need that user account because the files have moved across, or if you accidentally created the user account with a wrong spelling of somebody's name. The last thing you want to do is, oh, sorry, why have you spelled my name wrong? So we want to give you scenarios of getting around that and fixing that so that you can then uh, carry on using the computer or you know somebody else can carry on using the computer without you having to do a large piece of rebuild or you know work around to get around this so in part two of this video we're going to go over steps to help delete a user account in windows welcome to the second part of this video um, what we're going to show you is how to delete a user account on a computer um, that you created um, and either you don't need it or you created one in error and you created another user account afterwards so for that reason um, we're going to get rid of one um, now it can happen um, for example you're told somebody's name um, let's just say Claire um, you know C L I A I R E or or Claire C L A I R or Claire as C L A no I R E and now somebody's going to tell me there's a fourth way but um, you know you're getting the point here um, so you just want to get rid of the user account um, so what we're going to show you is three methods um, and let us know which method you prefer um, as you see these three methods we show you so the first one is to go into Windows settings. So the easiest way to go into Windows settings on Windows 10 or Windows 11 is right click on the start button and go to settings. Now this has appeared on my second screen so I'm just going to bring it across. And what you're going to see here is an area called accounts. Um, and you may see part of this video being cut out just because this personal information. Um, because I'm not doing this on a test um, computer, I'm doing it on a live computer. But you've got um, various sections here which I'll go around which we can look at. Where you would go next is within Access Work or School account. And within there, correction. Um, so on, depending on the version of Windows 10, for example, you've got, you'll have an extra area here called Family and Other Users. Now, um, the reason I don't have this one here is because I'm joined on a business system, so um, you may or may not um, see this option here, family and other users. So the next solution would be to go through either the old school control panel, but um, that's been phased out. So I don't even want to discuss that option in this video, because I want to keep this Windows 10 and Windows 11 relevant. So I'm going to show you um, command prompt which is next so one option now you can do is start menu again you can either right click on it and go to PowerShell admin now although this is PowerShell it does use um, the command line um, 
that you would see in command prompt. Um, this is the way Windows wants to go towards going forward. So they're pushing for PowerShell. But this doesn't make a difference if you want to use PowerShell or command prompt. Um, the process is essentially the same. Um, but if you were to do command prompt, you would just um, type in the CMD um, in the start menu and make sure you run command prompt as an admin. So regardless of if, if it's PowerShell or command prompt, it will be the same thing at the end of the day. So the look and feel might be different, but what we're going to do is the same. Now, I'm just going to I'm just going to type in the command with a fake user account. So, um, but you'll see we get the same error message. User. Username one two three delete um, and as you can see the command does work um, you get an error message. If I copy that here same thing same message. So regardless of which one you use PowerShell admin or command prompt as administrator which the important bit here is administrator then the command will um, set a work. So I'm going to just close PowerShell because most people don't know about PowerShell. Just keep it to the old DOS based system. Um, and this, these commands will work whether you're running Windows 11, 10, 8.1, 8, 7, Vista, XP and if I remember, probably the other ones as well. So, so we created an account called um, Test User One and Test User Two. Um, and what you're going to see here is, if I was to type this in, you can see that I've created this user account. So it does exist and likewise test user 2 also does exist um, so that's the user accounts uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to delete user account um, test user 1 now so someone would ask me how did I just get to this information that I recently typed just use the up and down keys and you can get to where you previously were. That happened to retype it in. Now the command account about user accounts is net user. If you forget the R, you're talking about net use, which is um, network drives, which is a completely different topic. So we've got net user and then the user account user, test user one. Now, on a side side note, if your user account has a space like this, it won't work. So you have to put quotes around a name that has spaces. Um, we don't advise against having a username with a space. Um, so let's just take that out. Um, so we've got test user one, and then forward slash delete. Um, now, it doesn't matter if you do it all lowercase or if you do it all uppercase, it will just work. Um, so, um, whatever guide you see online, this is not case sensitive. What's case sensitive is passwords. Um, so, once I've typed this in, this account has been deleted. Now, if I was to type this in, you'll see account doesn't exist now. If I scroll up, 
net user test user one, it did exist. Um, and that same error message, sorry, scrolling too fast, this username could not be found because we deleted it, it's no longer there. Um, it was the same thing we saw when we had test username one, two, three. Now, this second method um, is a great way to do it regardless of your systems. But um, one war warning is this is just deleting the user account. So um, any files um, that were associated with the account, you've still got on the system and you can recover um, by just going to um, a directory called C users um, and then the user account. Um, but we would re highly recommend that before you do any kind of deletion, you always back up the files. Uh, but um, our preferred method, if, if it's us, is not to delete the user account. We've got a better way. So you may ask, what's the better way to delete a user account um, but be able to recover a user account if needed? Uh, and the better way is that you hide the user account from someone seeing it. So the whole point of this is you you just want to make it that someone can't see the user account on the system. It's like having a second administrator account on the system. So the way you accomplish this is very similar to the delete command. So all we do in command prompt is we've got the user account and all we need to do is make them appear as hidden. And it's just a simple trick Compared to deleting, we just marked as a, um, as not active. So you've got active yes and active no. Now, some people will just type it in as active Y or active N. Um, same result. Um, I just like to write the word, uh, just for clarity. And by doing this, all that happens is that the user account no longer appears on the login screen. So now we've got the same result. Uh, if you need to get into the user account, um, for example, they've got some saved, saved passwords in the web browser, for example, deleting the account is gonna uh, mess things over. Deleting the account is going to remove any saved passwords in Windows. Um, deleting the account is going to um, cause problems with any like profiles with software like Outlook. So by doing this, all you have to do is make it active again, log in, and you can um, get into the system um, as if the account was um, never uh, never deleted. Um, or you know it just still exists but it exists in the background and the average person is not going to know about reactivating this um, and plus if the average user is not an administrator they're not going to know either way so method one uh, just to recap method one is using windows using the interface and deleting a user account. Method two is going into command line and typing in net user, the username, forward slash delete. And method three is net user, 
the username and active no. Out of the three methods, which one did you prefer the best? And why? Share your thoughts below. Now thanks for watching and um, we'll see you in the next one. Welcome back to the last part of this video. We hope the information in this video was useful. If you found it useful, please give us a like and subscribe for future videos so that we can help yourself and other people with the information on our, on our channel. And if you know anyone else that would benefit from this video, please do share a link to the video showing them how it could benefit them.